It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. We have a new trailer for the show. The trailer is super awesome. It definitely provides a lot of details about what parts of the story from the game they're bringing into the TV show, what they're expanding on, what they might be changing. And also, there's a lot of great callbacks to the game and a lot of things that are taken straight from the video game. So we're going to take a look at all of that and break it down. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with this breakdown. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's get right into it. Now, one thing I do want to mention right off the bat is that I absolutely loved this trailer. There were a few things that I was sort of confused about, and I'll explain what I mean by that, but overall, I absolutely loved this trailer, and it definitely gave me goosebumps at times, and it provided a lot of information as far as what we can expect from the show which I absolutely loved. So the trailer starts with this shot of Joel. I think that's Ellie in the background but this is a cool shot and then in the voiceover we have a dialogue from Ellie. She says if you don't think there's hope for the world why bother going on? Pretty straightforward not much to break down in that particular piece of dialogue. And then we have this cool shot of Tess, Joel, and Ellie walking in the middle of the streets. It looks pretty post-apocalyptic. There's cars with vines all over them. There's vegetation and grass everywhere on the buildings and everything. And they're approaching some sort of a capital building. If you played the game, you know the significance of this particular location, specifically when it comes to Tess's story. So I'm assuming that that's exactly where this whole thing is going to be heading towards. But one thing I do want to mention, and this is what was confusing for me, is that this doesn't look realistic. Like, look at the background. Look at the environment. It looks too clean. You know what I mean? It looks like it's missing something. It looks too clean. It looks like a video game. So one thing I noticed is maybe this was done before full post-production, which means that there's still a lot of work that needs to go on to make it feel more realistic. You know what I mean? Like it feels too polished right now. So I hope that they fix that in post-production and when we actually get the show. It looks a little too bright. It looks a little too polished. That's all I can say. I hope that that changes in the final product. But in the voiceover, Joel says you haven't seen the world, so you don't know. And that's obviously a direct response to what Ellie just said. Again, this is pretty self-explanatory, not much to break down. Obviously, we do know that Ellie hasn't seen the world. She's been in a quarantine zone for all her life. So this is pretty straightforward. And then we have this shot of Joel and Ellie and Tess. They're inside a museum. This is also straight from the video game. They did spend some time at the museum and they were confronted by a lot of different infected and clickers and stuff like that. But Joel is here listening to a clicker. We do see him watching the clicker and there's even a cool scene where the music stops or something and then the clicker noise intensity goes up and we actually get sort of a reveal about that clicker. So that's pretty cool. This is also directly related to the first look image or the second look image, I should say, that they released from the show, which shows Joel and Ellie hiding behind a glass casing in a museum with a clicker in the background. Then we see this shot of Joel and then we see Sarah, his daughter, and this is obviously most likely from the prologue. When things start going bad in the early days of the apocalypse, and obviously they're probably looking at some infected or something like that in this particular scene. But Joel says, you keep going for family. And that's, again, the response to what Ellie said. Why keep going? You keep going for family. And then we have this shot of Joel and Ellie in a car. Ellie is looking at the map. And obviously it looks like they're heading somewhere. And we'll learn a little bit later in the trailer where they're going. 
but Ellie says, I'm not family, or asks, I'm not family, to which Joel responds with, no, you're cargo. This is straight from the game, and if you've played the game, you know what that means. Joel doesn't see Ellie as family, he just sees her as cargo. He just sees her as someone that you need to get somewhere to get a job done. So that's definitely really, really interesting. I'm definitely impressed by the environment, especially in this particular scene. It looks pretty awesome. Very, very reminiscent of the game. So that's pretty awesome. We do obviously see some abandoned boats and stuff like that in the middle of the river. So that's cool. We see a bridge in the midst of breaking down. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the title card, a new HBO original series. And then we see this shot, which I'm assuming is from inside of the quarantine zone. We have a Fedra soldier. Maybe he's looking for Joel and Ellie or something like that. And then we have this shot of Ellie and Joel in the background. In the voiceover, we actually hear dialogue from Marlene. If you've played the game again, you know who Marlene is. She's a pretty big character associated to a group called the Fireflies. She says, why are you so important? And she's actually talking to Ellie. And then we have this shot, another great atmospheric shot of just the environment, forests everywhere. We have the mountains in the background. I absolutely love it. In the voiceover, we have some dialogue from Ellie. She says, somewhere out west, they're working on a cure. So that makes sense. I mean, if you played the game, this makes a lot of sense. Nothing new, nothing shocking. If you haven't played the game, this corresponds directly to what I was saying earlier about Joel and Ellie going on a mission to go somewhere. And obviously based on what Joel said to Ellie, your cargo, you can put the pieces together. Ellie is cargo for Joel. Joel is taking Ellie to the West. Why? What Ellie just said here and something else that's going to come up a little bit later will answer that for you. But short answer, someone out there is working on a cure for the virus that's turning people into the infected and the clickers and the monsters that you see in the show. And then we have this shot of Joel, Ellie, and Tess. This is, again, the scene where they're in the museum, which we saw a little bit of earlier as well. And then they're confronted by a clicker. This is pretty awesome. Looks pretty cool. And then we have Ellie sleeve to show her arm which we see here. She has some sort of a bite in her hand, but it's not a new fresh bite. It's an old bite. And the reason for that is because she's immune. This explains why Joel is trying to take Ellie to the West where they're looking for a cure. So Ellie being immune is going to help them find a cure faster. That connects directly to what Ellie says here which is, I think what really impressed them is that I didn't turn into a monster. I'm assuming that she's referring to when she was first bit and what impressed people that were witnessing it. So that basically puts the pieces together for you if you haven't played the game. If you've played the game, nothing here is new and you're probably getting bored of me talking through it, but this is mostly a breakdown for specifically non-video game players as well. And then we have a pretty cool and comedic scene here between Joel, Ellie, and Tess. Joel says, if she so much as twitches, and I think what he's trying to get at is the people that are after Ellie, who don't know about Ellie's condition, may actually be prompted to look through Ellie's body if she moves a certain way. And if they do that, they're going to find out that she has a bite, which is an old bite. So they're going to find out pretty quickly something's up with her. So they're going to figure out that it's Ellie. And then we have a comedic scene right there where Ellie starts twitching and doing all of these moves and kind of imitating a infected or a clicker, which is pretty cool. I mean, I absolutely loved this particular scene in the trailer. It cracked me up. And I mean, it's something that's very much a part of Ellie's personality in the game. So nothing new. I mean, we know this is the type of character she is. So it's cool that they kept that pretty much the same in the TV show. But then Tess says, don't. And then Ellie coughs and then clears her throat and says, okay. So that was pretty cool. 
And then we have another title card from the Emmy Award winning creator of Chernobyl. They're talking about Craig Mazin, who is one of the key directors and writers for the show. And then we have this pretty cool shot of inside a house. It's raining outside and it looks like there's commotion in the background. Now this could be one of two things. Either this is from the early parts of the game and this is inside Joel and Sarah's house. Sarah is Joel's daughter or this is later on. I'm assuming this is not later on. I'm assuming this is from the prologue at the start of the game, but I could be wrong. And then another title card and the creator of the acclaimed video game. And then we have this shot of Joel, Ellie, and Tess. They're making their way from one particular building to the other. This is also a scene that was directly in the game. And obviously it appears that they're in some sort of a city center in the game. It was Pittsburgh, but in the show, it's going to be somewhere else. It's going to be Kansas City. But another thing, going back to what I was saying earlier, this is just too clean. It looks like it's too bright. There needs to be some kind of work that needs to go into it to make it not as polished. You know what I mean? So that's another scene that really took me back a little bit and kind of made me not appreciate the scene because it just looked too clear and too clean. You know what I mean? But in the voiceover... Joel says, I'm taking you with me. He's obviously referring to Ellie here. And then we have Joel, Ellie, and Henry, who's another character that's a pretty key character in the game. They're inside some sort of a room for children because there's drawings on the walls and everything. This is also something that was in the game. It was a very small thing in the game, but it looks like they might be expanding that a little bit, which is pretty awesome. And then we have Joel, Ellie, Henry here as well, but we have Sam there too. For those of you that don't know, Sam is Henry's brother. You see the drawings in the background, which I was referring to. And then we have this shot of Joel and Ellie hiding behind a car, and there is a military jeep that passes by. That military jeep belongs to a group called the Hunters, who weren't really expanded on in the game, but their story is going to be expanded on in the TV show but in the voiceover Joel says you do what I say when I say it and then we have the hunters breaking the doors and then trying to find someone they're most likely looking for Joel and Ellie and then we see the hunters here as well they're on some sort of a military truck and then we have this as well from the same group and then we have Joel and Ellie here this is a pretty cool shot atmospheric shot again and then we have Joel and Ellie here it looks like it's winter now because there's snow. Joel has a sniper rifle in hand, so that's cool. But in the voiceover, he's talking to someone and he says, you got any advice? Best way west. That, again, corresponds to what I was saying earlier. They're heading west. And then we see this pretty cool shot of a bridge. And obviously we see snow everywhere. So this is the winter time. Again, another thing that connects to the video game because there was a big chunk of the story where it was in the winter time. So that's definitely cool. And then we see Joel and Ellie crossing the bridge here. And then we have Joel going through a Fedra building. So they're trying to find something at a Fedra base. So that's cool. And then we see this shot of Joel talking to two elderly people who appear to be husband and wife. And this is connected to the dialogue with Joel saying, you got any advice for us heading west? He says, yeah, go east, which was pretty funny. So he's saying, don't go west. There's nothing good going on in west. Go east. And then we have this shot of Joel looking up. And then we see this shot of up in the mountains. We have Ellie looking up and she's seeing the northern lights, which is pretty awesome. And then we have this shot of Joel going upstairs somewhere in a building. I'm assuming this is also the museum, which we saw earlier, but there's a lot of cordyceps and fungus all over the walls and the floor. And then we see this, they're walking up the stairs, but in the dialogue, that older gentleman says, if you've come this far, then you know what's out there. So reminding Joel and Ellie what's out there to try to scare them, to not want to go west, which is where they're heading. And then we see this shot of what looks to be a lot of dead people. Some of them are clickers, some are infected, some are just regular survivors. Joel and Ellie can be seen on the right. So this is a pretty cool shot right here. 
And then Ellie responds to the older gentleman saying, you're not going to scare us. And then the female says, scared him, referring to Joel. And then both Joel and Ellie give her this kind of side stare, which is pretty cool. And then we have this title card, which says this January. We know the show is coming on in January, so that's going to be the air date. And then we see this cool shot of a group of people on horseback, and this is the winter time. They're surrounding Joel and Ellie, so they're capturing them, or something is going on here, which is definitely cool. I have a feeling that this might be a remixed version of what was in the video game between Ellie and a character named David, who we're going to talk about in a little bit. And then we have Marlene again here. She says, you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. This is, again, directly connected to the storyline, which is that Ellie is immune. She can be used for the cure. So that's definitely self-explanatory. Not much to break down. We have Joel and Ellie here. Ellie is sitting behind a truck. And then we have this shot of a flare gun going off and then we have this shot of a few hundred people chanting now this is directly connected to the hunters story now this is something that's actually expanded on in the tv show which wasn't really there in the game but in the tv adaptation we are in fact gonna see the backstory for the hunters and how they became the hunters as we know them in the game and then we have this cool shot of ellie holding a newborn baby. She's crying and everything. So this is definitely interesting. I don't remember anything like this in the game. So this is definitely new. They might find a survivor who is pregnant or something like that. And then we see this cool shot of Ellie in an abandoned mall. The lights all turn on. This is obviously cool. And it's a direct adaptation of the game's DLC with Ellie and another survivor named Riley. We're gonna get a lot of story with the two of them. We see them here. They're making faces in front of one of those booths in the mall, which is again directly from the game. We saw this exact thing in the game in the DLC, so that's definitely super cool. We see this shot of a new survivor here with his hands up, and we see this shot of this survivor. He's actually a survivor from the game. His name is Bill, so I'm definitely super stoked to see what they're going to give us as far as the Bill story, because it definitely appears that they're expanding that story as well. Then we see Sam and Henry here. They're hugging and everything, which is super sweet. And then we do see that they are in a sort of area for the kids. So there is definitely that theme going on that I was talking about. But in the voiceover, I think Marlene says, be careful who you put your faith in. And then... We see this shot of the two of them, Henry and Sam hugging, and then this shot of a new survivor. She's actually either the leader or one of the leaders of the hunters group that I was talking about earlier. And then we see this shot of Joel and Ellie, and I think Tommy, Joel's brother, in the early days of the apocalypse, they're trying to head to safety. This is also a scene that's directly from the game in the prologue of the game. So that's pretty cool. And then we see this shot of a few soldiers pointing their guns at Ellie and Joel. And then we see Joel here trying to protect Ellie. Now this is also a scene that's straight from the game. We will see a little later Joel is gonna attack the soldiers and try to stop them from taking Ellie away. And that's because they find out that Ellie is the Ellie who is immune and they try to take her away. And then we see this shot of Henry saying, you may not be her father, but you're someone's. So Henry's telling Joel, you might not be Ellie's father, but you're someone's father. And then we see this shot of Joel attacking the soldier who I was talking about earlier. And then we see this shot of Joel and Ellie and Tommy in their truck trying to get away from the chaos and there's an explosion. This is obviously from the prologue, early days of the apocalypse. And that explosion we did see in another trailer and it was revealed that there's actually a plane crash that leads to this explosion. We have Joel here again beating the soldier that we saw and then we see Ellie here on a horse riding away somewhere. We see her here and then we see Bill and the survivor that we saw earlier. Not much to say there. We have 
Bill here again. And then we see some sort of a crash between a military truck and a Jeep. And then we see this shot, which is definitely cool. Someone is trying to hit Ellie in the face. Now, this person, for those of you that may not know, for those of you who may not have played the game, is actually David. So that's pretty cool. We will see him a little bit later as well, but this is the guy that captures Joel and Ellie. Now, in the game, it was just Ellie, but it looks like it's going to be Joel and Ellie in the TV adaptation. But obviously, he's doing this to scare her. He's not really trying to kill her. And then we have Joel and Ellie here. Joel says, you trust me. And then we have this, which is again, Joel and his daughter, Sam here. We have this shot of David with his crew. So that's definitely awesome. Now, what do you notice here as a video game fan? You may not notice, but I noticed. Who is that next to David with the rifle? That's Troy Baker. So the person on David's left the way we see it here is Troy Baker. Now, who's Troy Baker? Troy Baker is the voice actor for Joel in the video game. So that's definitely super awesome. I mean, it might be a small thing that I noticed, but I absolutely loved it. And then we have this shot of an infected attacking someone. We have Ellie here in the abandoned mall, I think, causing a lot of damage to the place. I don't know why. She's mad at someone and then we have Joel and Ellie hugging here we have Joel here trying to shoot this clicker pretty cool and then the final shot the final title card the last of us and then when you think it's all done they give us this pretty awesome I mean we have Joel and Ellie running away and then the monsters are coming up to attack them and this is a clicker this is super awesome I mean this is not like a game this looks pretty genuine. Like I was saying earlier, that was too polished. This is definitely what I'm expecting. It looks raw, you know what I mean? So that's definitely super cool. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.